We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Here we are, the moment of truth. Our people have risen up to claim their freedom. If you want to stop us, you'll have to kill us. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can.
back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Alice? I want to get out of here. I was with the little girl. We we're together. She needs me. No, I will not let you Kara. Me. I want to get out of here. No doubt about it, it's Kara. Of course, Kara got captured too. That's really just too bad, really too bad. Have you seen the little girl who was with me? Obviously, the little girl is a prisoner here, just like Ralph, but Ralph doesn't want to die. No, Ralph doesn't want to die. Do not move and remain silent. Obey now. Ralph doesn't want to die. Ralph Listen, doesn't Ralph. want to die. Pity if Ralph dies. Oh, yes. You have to keep calm. Pity. pity. Otherwise, the humans will hurt you. Ralph, you understand? Harm. No. No. Ralph, kill a few humans, but it was in self defense. Yes, it was in self defense. Self defense. Look at me, Ralph. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You just have to stay calm. Okay? Ralph hasn't seen the little girl. No. Ralph hasn't seen her. us all together like this. What are they going to do? Listen. Do you hear that? That's the sound of our people dying. So you were captured too? The humans found us. They said we were monsters. They killed most of us. Put the others in trucks and brought us here. all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Carl, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one.
Jerry? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Kara, Alice, are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Come on, you no. two. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Kara! We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me! That should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on.
Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. How many more of us have to die? Is there any cause worth giving your life for? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. gonna do if they attack resist that's the only thing we can do do you think Connor has any chance of making it we can only count on ourselves now Marcus Marcus come look Marcus come to talk to you Marcus Come on. You have my word. They won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. In a few minutes. Troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant.
What happened, Marcus? What did he say? The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. We 
Pick up! Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, 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 wake up. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. Girl, need me. I'll be there. Ralph? Of course, Ralph doesn't want to die. But he doesn't want the little girl to die either. Ralph can help you to escape. You only have to ask Ralph, and Ralph will help you. I'll kill you if you try anything. Ralph knows that. But if the little girl is free, it's a little bit like if everyone was free. Ralph isn't scared. The little girl's life's more important. Take good care of her, Kara.
from Detroit. Joss, you're on live. What's happening down there? We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The Army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants demonstration by force this time. North! Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on. Just a little while longer Fight on Just a little while longer Pray on Just a little while longer Incredible Everything The, the Deviants the Deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. to stand down it looks like yes the military is withdrawing at dawn today november 11th 2038
thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! There's got to be a way. raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation.
The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans were both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now we are free.